Next, we shall see how to allocate the main memory to the various processes. So at a time, we will have a set of processes waiting in the input queue, that is the processes which are residing in the secondary memory and are waiting to be loaded to the main memory. In the main memory, a portion will be allocated or reserved for the operating system and the remaining memory, we have to allocate this remaining memory to the processes in the input queue. And this memory allocation is mainly of two types. One is contiguous memory allocation and the other is non-contiguous memory allocation. In contiguous memory allocation, we place a process in the main memory in a contiguous fashion. That is, if we have a process of 4 MB residing in the secondary memory, the 4 MB will be loaded to the main memory in a contiguous fashion. It will be loaded to one particular address space and will be placed together. We won't be able to split the process. This is called contiguous memory allocation. And in non-contiguous memory allocation, the process can be non-contiguous. We can split the process. One part of the process can be loaded to one part of the memory and the remaining can be loaded to other part and so on. This is called non-contiguous memory allocation. And the contiguous memory allocation, we can use two techniques, either fixed partitioning scheme or dynamic partitioning scheme. And the non-contiguous memory allocation can be either paging or segmentation. So in the next video we shall see what is fixed partitioning scheme in contiguous memory allocation.